Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be making some little pizzas out of hamburger buns, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to be making some pizzas out of hamburger buns. So what I have here is my toaster that I'll be prepping them up before they go in the oven. And, of course, some hamburger buns, a little bit of butter, and some garlic, and some pizza sauce. And some onions, some olives, some cheese, bell pepper, some pepperoni, and salami that I have cut right here on my cutting board. My workspace is kind of small, but I'm going to get this done. So first of all, I'm going to set my um, toaster down to one, the very lowest setting, because I don't want to toast toast them. I just want to get them to where they start drying a little bit so they don't turn out soggy in the oven. And I'm going to toast these up. And once my buns are all toasted, then I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, so I have the buns all toasted and I buttered every single one of them. Now I'm going to take my garlic and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic on each bun. All right. sauce. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of sauce on each bun. Then maybe a little cheese. All right, and then some onion. Pepperoni. Salami. It's a great idea for kids' parties, inexpensive. I'm going to put some more cheese on here. Some black olives. Maybe some bell pepper. And black olives. I take the olives and just kind of pull them apart into two pieces. Works great. More bell pepper. Oh, we got some more salami here and pepperoni. Oven is set for 350, and I'm going to be putting these in the oven for about anywhere from uh, maybe five to ten minutes, just enough for the cheese to melt and for them to heat through. I'm just going to put them on a plate here, serve them up. One, there's one left that won't fit. These are great for game night, um, family night, kids parties. If you have hamburger buns that you need to get rid of, um, just any time. Maybe a quick dinner on a 
busy work night or something. These are great. Right. We are in to take a bite. I know these are good because I've made them before and I wanted to share them with you because they're inexpensive and they're quick and easy to make and they're very good. Mm. And I think these are just as good or even better as the pizza place down the street from me, or at least the pizza place that we go to anyway, if we want pizza and they're really expensive. So that's a good alternative. Anyway, I'm going to go finish my pizza and I'll see you guys next time here on Survive With What You Know. Bye.